Welcome to Fantastic Plastic, a series of SolidWorks video tutorials presented by the Demonic Group. In Fantastic Plastic, I'll be presenting strategies and techniques for injection molded plastic part design using SolidWorks CAD software. I'm Andrew Lowe. I'm a senior industrial designer with the Demonic Group. The Demonic Group is a full-service product development consultancy located just outside Chicago, Illinois. In this installment of Fantastic Plastic, we'll take a look at a technique for creating ribs on curved surfaces. I know you really can't see that from the screenshot, but uh, the ribs in this example are definitely curved. Let's jump into SolidWorks and take a look. So if we were to uh, rotate the view, kind of just have this part kind of cut in half because I'll mirror it later, the ribs are definitely on a curved surface. Um, so I could, you know, an easy way of creating these is going to be with some of the uh, the surfacing tools, which will be able to generate the tops of these ribs. So let's take a look at how I went about creating these ribs. Uh, the first thing I needed to do was create a offset surface uh, that controls the height of the ribs. In this case, six millimeters. So I'm picking the kind of three main surfaces here of this part and offsetting them those six millimeters. And now what I need to do is create uh, just some kind of planes uh, for the various uh, features. And the bulk of these ribs are going to be generated uh, with an extrude thin feature. So looking at this sketch, we'll just go the other orientation. Here I've just sketched some lines uh, kind of showing where the ribs are going to be. We've just got some dimensions. And here I'm using uh, the equals kind of relation here on the center line to help just kind of control all the spacing. So if I do wanted to change the spacing, say to 45, the uh, the pattern kind of updates accordingly. So here, this sketch is just going to be used to create my geometry. And note that I'm not merging the geometry into the part. So I have the merge result option turned off, and I have the, the mid-plane option here, so that way the sketch I'm using is actually kind of the mid-plane of each of these ribs. Uh, not building any draft into the feature at this point, but the most important part is I'm not merging uh, the geometry. I did need to create a kind of end surface for these ribs, so the way I did that was uh, with a quick ruled surface with the sweep option. Uh, the right plane is kind of the direction. This just kind of creates a, almost like a sweep uh, going across here, but I don't need to set up any sketch profiles. I can just uh, create that surface. So the red edges indicate that the surfaces are not joined. So with the surface knit tool, I'll join them in. So now we have a solid edge through here. And now that I have my rib height body, I can use the surface cut feature. So my cutting tool is going to be the surface knit. I need to make sure we're going the right way with the little arrow here. And then I'm just going to go in and pick all of my bodies. There are a few of them. Each kind of portion of this rib is a separate body because they're not merged together. But what this will allow me to do is cut back the height of the ribs. I don't really need to worry about the other main body of the part. So this, I'm not going to worry about it being cut. This uh, trim tool just kind of can pass through it. All I need to make sure of is that the trim tool or this cutting surface is going to be longer and kind of fully envelop these ribs. So we're just going to cut the, them back. I don't need this offset surface anymore, so I'm just going to clean it up with a body delete. I did need to kind of adjust some of the geometry here, so I've just used a quick move face to increase where this uh, rip was. Actually, I didn't increase it. I moved it down, so originally it was interfering with uh, the lifter that would have been forming this kind of undercut here. So we just adjusted that with a move face real quick. Finally, I'm combining everything into the part. It's really easy just with a window select. You know, I just drag everything, hit the add button, and now the ribs are merged into the part. Uh, I did adjust this geometry here. I just noticed that rib was kind of really short, so I wanted to get it as close to this uh, opening as possible. So I just dialed that in with the, the move face command here. Now the only thing that is left is to round off kind of these sharp edges here where that trim was. I could have done that on the surface too. Uh, it doesn't really matter where I did it. The only downside of this technique is I do have to go in after the fact and manually add the draft. And you can see that there are a lot of edges. So this is just a lot of picks and clicks. There's kind of no easy way around it. Just going in and picking all the various edges. Uh, luckily these ribs are pretty simple. So I, the direction should be right most of the time. I won't need to use the other face option to flip that. But just going in and picking all the edges, uh, use the draft analysis afterwards to verify that I got everything because you're probably going to miss something the first time around with that many edges to pick. Finally, I want to come in and uh, add some fillets in between the ribs. And one quick way of getting the fillets you want, 
or this is obviously too large, just say maybe a millimeter fillet. I'm going to unselect that edge. And when I do pick the edge the first time, I kind of get this pop-up. And a lot of the time I can get the, the right result I want. So here I'm going to be able to get a lot of the rib intersections automatically. I will need to deselect some of the, the ribs can kind of seen over here. And if you, that does go away, just pick another edge and then mouse through them and see if there's an option that's going to speed things up. So here it is going to speed things up, but I'm just going to have to go in and pick some of these edges. But if you do have a lot of rib intersections like this, it's going to be a really big time saver of automatically picking a bunch of edges to fill it in the union of those ribs. So to recap, uh, for creating the ribs on the curved surface, I'm going to be using the surface offset, uh, this green body here, to generate the height of my ribs and that surface that follows the inside uh, profile of the part. Uh, the main body is here in yellow, and then I'm creating the ribs with a thin feature extrude. Uh, as shown here in magenta. Note that I'm not merging uh, the body here. This is such that the surface offset can be used uh, just on the, the rib bodies, the magenta, and don't need to worry about the intersection between the surface and the main body. So here the surface cut has formed the top of the rib, so I have this nice profile. They perfectly match the inside. And then I'm coming in with the parting line draft tool and picking all the edges. Fortunately, or unfortunately, I have to do this manually. But, uh, you know, just picking and clicking, use the draft analysis to verify that you've got all of the edges. And finally, you can speed things up a little bit by using this kind of auto select for filleting. My rule of thumb for the filleting is to fill it all of the vertical rib intersections first. That way, when I want to go and fill out the roots of the ribs, I only need to pick one edge and the, the fillet will automatically propagate along the tangency. If I didn't have those little corner fillets first, then I would be having to pick a larger number of edges. I hope you enjoyed this week's SOLIDWORKS video tutorial presented by the Damani Group. Please subscribe to the Damani Group on YouTube by clicking our logo on the bottom right of the screen to stay up to date on new video releases. As well, click the SOLIDWORKS icon to be taken to our website where you can download the example SOLIDWORKS files used in this week's video. And finally, check out other great content by the Damani Group, Will It Fill It and Surfaces and Splines by clicking the video links on the left of the screen.